Change. Another rough day for the airlines, as you can see behind me here. Multiple carriers trimming services after thousands of flights were canceled over the holiday weekend. And, of course, amid persistent issues with regard to everything, labor, traffic, etc., etc. Phil LeBeau joins us now with some of those details. And, Phil, uh, I purposefully didn't take a flight to Washington, D.C. over the holiday weekend and drove instead because of all the stories I heard. Just how bad is it? Well, it's bad, especially up in that New York area. Look, it's always congested, and we've got the construction going on at Newark. And because of that construction, American Airlines today granted a waiver from the FAA to bring down its schedule at its hub in Newark. And that's not a surprise, given the fact that the problems that they've seen there, they want to limit those problems in the future. So starting July 1st, they're cutting 50 flights a day. That's about 12 percent of their Newark schedule. And again, it starts July 1st, expected to extend at least through August, though it could continue into September or October. In granting the waiver, the FAA said the FAA recognizes that the reduced number of available gates in Terminal A and the anticipated runway construction project at EWR, that's the code for Newark, present a continuous unusual set of circumstances beyond the control of any carrier. And again, these cuts, they've just put out the July schedule overnight where they are reducing these flights, and we're going to see them do that in the next week for their August schedule. Don't be surprised if they also do it for September and October, depending on how long the construction goes and whether or not they feel they still need to waive all of those flights. Also, take a look at shares of American. Now, American has said for some time the pilot shortage means that it's going to be pulling back its schedule. Uh, they've already done that, and now they have announced that there are four cities, smaller cities, that they will no longer be doing flights into because they don't have the pilots to do the flights into those cities. So what we're seeing, Dom, with United, with American, and we've seen it with other airlines as well, pulling back their schedules, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a little bit more of this over the next couple of weeks as the airlines realize the schedules that they set, they just can't meet them in this environment, and they're going to pull them back even further. I mean, the administration's dealing with the energy crisis right now. They're also dealing with this kind of real critique of transportation right now. In fact, the, the secretary of transportation, yep. Phil, Pete Buttigieg, met with airline CEOs just last week saying that they have to do better, but things didn't improve last weekend. So do we think these airlines are moving fast enough to avoid issues over the Fourth of July holiday weekend when we're going to see a sure. lot more people traveling. Well, you certainly see United saying we want to make, take these steps in advance of that Fourth of July holiday weekend. American also cutting back its schedule into these smaller cities. I think you probably will see the airlines be a little bit more judicious. But for the most part, they have locked these schedules in over the next month. Now, whether or not they come back and they say, let's let's cut back even further they want to make sure that they do not have a repeat, certainly, of what happened last weekend and with Memorial Day as well. Uh, they are under the gun, so to speak, to make sure that they can meet the schedules that have been set there, Dom. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see at least a little bit of trimming on some of these schedules.